you are now looking at a medicinal plant that we Jamaicans commonly refer to as guinea hen weed. Scientifically, it is known as Petiveria aliacea, and apart from Jamaica, it can be found growing in the Amazon rainforest and other parts of the Americas and in Africa. It has a long history of use in folklore medicine in several cultures and has been used to treat a wide range of maladies. In Jamaica, it is a popular medicinal plant for persons who are into herbal medicine and it is used for the treatment of prostatitis which is an inflammation of the prostate and prostate related diseases including prostate cancer and it is also used by some alternative medicine practitioners to treat prostate and breast cancer with reports of positive results now over the last few years there has been research carried out on guinea hen weed and in this video we're going to be sharing aspects of these findings as it relates to the possibilities of using it to treat prostate and other types of cancers <laughs> So scientific research on guinea hen weed has concluded that the plant has a wide range of cancer fighting properties against several types of cancer cells, including liver, brain, breast, prostate, and leukemia. Guinea hen weed has been found to have several phytochemicals such as astilbin and dibenzyl trisulfate which can directly destroy cancer cells. Research also showed that these compounds were able to differentiate between normal cells and cancer cells killing only the cancerous cells. Guinea hen weed has also been found to have immunostimulant properties, meaning that it can stimulate the immune system to increase its production of lymphocytes. And lymphocytes are a type of white blood cell that play an important role in helping your body to fight off cancer and foreign viruses and bacteria. Guinea hen weed has also been found to stimulate the immune system to increase its production of natural killer cells and to increase the production of other substances naturally produced by the immune system in fighting cancers and infections. In 2016, there was a research that was carried out among a sample of 15 Jamaican men who were living with prostate cancer. And these participants were in the age range between 60 to 75 years old. The conclusion was that 93% admitted to experiencing positive effects from the use of the herb. They said that they would highly recommend the herb to other men that were affected with prostate cancer. One has to take into consideration though that while these men were participating in this research, they were also on prescribed drugs for either an enlarged prostate gland or prostate cancer. And these drugs were prescribed in combination or singly. Now, based on the latter, the improved health status of these participants cannot conclusively be attributed to the consumption of guinea hen weed. 
So is this herb the answer to prostate and other cancers? Who knows? But one thing we know for sure though is that there are some alternative medicine practitioners who use it in their practice to treat prostate and breast cancer as an addition to a holistic cancer treatment program and have seen positive results. But it's quite obvious that more research needs to be done to confirm the latter. If you would like to learn more about guinea hen weed in terms of its other uses in herbal medicine and some of the ways in which it is prepared to treat different maladies, among other things, then please click on the link in the description below. It is titled How to Make Guinea Hen Weed Tea Health Benefits of Guinea Hen Weed. It's a very detailed video and you'll learn a lot about the plant. Please ensure though that you watch it to the end so that you don't miss out on anything. And if at the end of the video you decide that you want to purchase Guinea Hen Weed tea bags, then you can get them to buy on Amazon. And so I included a link to the latter in that video's description. So all you need to do is to click on the link and it will take you to the different options on Amazon.